The Purdue soccer team was back in action today with their second game of the season. Boilers are coming off of a big win versus number 15 ranked USC. Let's take a look at how today's matchup went against Vanderbilt. Fans headed over to Folk Field for another big matchup as the Boilers hosted the Commodores. This was the second meeting of the two teams after a 1-1 draw last year in Nashville. First half, Vanderbilt had a lot of chances, as you can see here, playing very direct with a lot of balls in the air. But Purdue's defense was able to block some shots and it was scoreless at the half. Second half, though, Commodores got right back to work. In the 78th minute, Reagan Kelly finds Rachel Doreski from the right side and Doreski finds the back of the net. Vanderbilt goes up 1-0. Boilers had a chance to equalize in the 84th minute when Kayla Budish drew a penalty inside the box. As you can see right there, Emily Matthews takes the kick for her, but Vandy Keeper makes the save. Purdue falls to Vanderbilt 1-0. I thought Vanderbilt uh, played a really good game today, and uh, you know I think in that final third, we just couldn't uh, generate enough chances. Um, so not our best performance today, but uh, Vanderbilt had a lot to do with that. So. Um, you know, we have to we have to bounce back now and just like Thursday's result didn't make us, you know, the top um, today's result doesn't doesn't make us uh, uh, a poor team either. It's just uh, we're, we're still in that process of uh, learning who we are. And uh, I think we'll have a nice bounce back here uh, this week. Purdue will be on the road for their next game Thursday versus Kentucky.